In this video, I want to show you Aganti, which is a free software, a free web app that you can use by going to the website. And we already made a um, video guide about the web app, which is this one on the right that you are seeing here. And this is uh, a very nice application. It's completely free. You can use it to manage your projects. So you can create projects, you can create tasks, assign uh, resources and hours, people. So it's a complete management tool. And it's based on this Gantt chart, which is um, a management tool itself. So uh, in another video, we explained how to use Aganti. So if you want to see how you can use Aganti for web, so how to access the, the website, create an account, and so on, create projects, create tasks, you can go into our JBD Tube channel here, and you can just search for Aganti, and you will find here the the first result. Here is um, this uh, video about the web app. You can also find other stuff about management and manage projects and so on in our website. So also please subscribe and check out the other videos. And if you want to go to playlist, you will find here English video courses on uh, Premiere Pro, Redshift, Matbox, and other stuff, 3ds Max, Cinema 4D. These are all more professional web software. So let's close these. And so I already set up everything here on the web app. What I want to do now is I want to synchronize my smartphone, which is right here on the left, with this app. So basically, I can manage my projects, my uh, the things that I have to do, synchronized uh, either with my smartphone or with my web app. I anticipate you that uh, the web app is more complete. It has more tools. You can do many more things, and you can also uh, see. Uh, well, you can look at your projects in a more um, complete way like that. You can see the, the old timeline. So it's better the web app on your PC than your smartphone app, but they can work together. And especially when you are, for example, not in your office, when you are like going around, you can check uh, all the tasks and the projects on your smartphone. So this is pretty useful. So basically what we have to do is to go to the Play Store and there you go, you can search for the app which is called Agenti as well and there it is, it's German, it's in German but uh, once you have downloaded you can easily change the language. So I already download this and you can do that, you know it's pretty easy and fast and once you do that, let's click on open and I'm already inside because I already did my login, but you can do the login pretty easy. Just uh, insert your username and password, your email and password that you have used to create the web app. You can also use different accounts if you want, but in my case, I want to use this, the same account to show you how it works with both uh, platform, the smartphone and the PC. The, these different devices. Okay, so here I can see I, I can see the logout right here at the bottom, and I can also get into the settings. And here you can change the language if you uh, are having troubles with this. But this is something that uh, it will ask you uh, the first time you will access the app. So if you do, if you don't do that before, you can do it right here on the settings. Let's go back. And again, this is the hamburger menu right here on the top left. Gives you access to all the different projects. And uh, right now I'm seeing all the tasks here. And this is a um, dashboard view that you also have in the web app. If you go here, this is the Gantt chart that I'm seeing, but I can also visualize this with the dashboard. And I can switch between the two. Okay, so this is kind of a calendar. Uh, it's similar to what I am seeing in the app. Uh, I, I can't see the Gantt chart itself in the app, unfortunately. 
uh, I hope that this will be solved uh, soon because it's really interesting to see my all my timelines here or my projects in this very graphical way also in the smartphone but I can't to do that right now I just can go in one of these uh, projects and I can see uh, some information I can go back and I can see which are the tasks for today I can see you know all the the things that I have set actually using the web app so it always begin with the web app and then you can move to the smartphone to see everything like uh, memos or like uh, you know something some document that you have to go through okay so other things that you can do you can uh, for example select a project here from this list and see what tasks uh, have to be done or you can again select all tasks to see everything and uh, also you can create a project from here from the hamburger menu again you can click create a project and let's create a project right away so i want to create a project from which will start on the 1st of December and will end on the 22, 22nd. Okay, and I can set also the hours here. And uh, well, I can decide which themes I want to assign. The themes I have to, you have to create the themes in the web app and then you can visualize them here. So in my case, I want to select this theme. And this is the deadline. So everything is done. Now I just want to get a name for this. Let's call it test. Okay, so everything is good. I can now click down here at the bottom, create project. And there you go, now it's inside. And let me show you here on the web app, I don't see it right away because I have to always um, click on the updating button of the page of the browser. Now I have click on this and it's it refreshed the page. So I should see this project uh, somewhere. Well, let me close up these other projects and there you go. There is there it is. It's down here. It's empty, but it's there. I can I have to go a little bit back in time. There you go. So it's perfectly synchronized. Now let me create a task which is another thing I can do from the smartphone and I will call this test task and okay I have to assign this to a project so let me click here and I will assign this to a project which is my test project okay and again I can set some dates here so for example let's say that this will be from the 4th to the 21st and say save and click on the plus icon and just wait for this to complete this uh, green bar there you go so i have a new task and it added this task also on the things to do today and uh, again, I have to go here, refresh the page of the browser, reload it, wait a little bit. And I will go now into the test project here and I will expand by clicking on the this uh, arrow for the tasks. And there you go. This is my the, the task that I have just inserted with my smartphone. I can double click here and I can change this and call it uh, whatever I want. I can modify it from here. I can add a description, I can change the hours, the dep dependencies, 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 sorry about that. And well, basically, again, you can work with both, with your application in your smartphone, with your smartphone app, or you can work with this web app, you can work with both, you can set everything, it's pretty straightforward. I love this software because it, first of all, because it's free, but also because it's really nice uh, looking it has a really nice look and feel and of course also this feature is pretty important because it gives me the opportunity to set up and manage my projects everywhere 
uh, in the world. I can just uh, get my smartphone and check what to do today, if my team are working, uh, my teams are working and so on and so far. So it's pretty, it's a pretty useful app. So this is all for this video. I hope you enjoy it. If you like the video, you can go to the, G the JBDTube channel, the YouTube channel, which is called JBDTube. You can subscribe here. You can support us with uh, just check the community page and the store. You can support us in many ways. So thank you for watching this video and see you in the next video.